Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about this loading screen today. A loading screen telling us about a new promo in late August, man. Pre-season is coming. This is a promo that we had last year at the end of the year, and I'm expecting a lot of those things that happened last year to happen this year as well. Again, they're branding this as a FIFA 22, Foot 22 pre-season you have fifa 22 branding on this entire loading screen which is kind of cool right it's i like this promo last year because it really provides a nice little mini segue in between fifa 21 and fifa 22 last year of course from 20 to 21 but you don't learn a lot from this loading screen but we kind of know what preseason is about. It's going to look different than last year, but I want to talk about it in this video as what we can expect because basically what it will be is FIFA 21 objectives, SBCs, maybe some gameplay stuff uh, related to getting FIFA 22 rewards. So it's kind of nice to have a few extra things on your account at the start of the game next year or you know a couple months away sorry a couple weeks away as we head into fifa 22 so i want to talk about that today what kind of stuff we could see and how it'll be a little bit different than last year of course as well let's talk about what could be in preseason so this is of course the web page from last year's foot preseason promo and this was the whole tagline of preseason right play fifa 20 get rewards in 20 and 21 so this time around play fifa 21 get rewards in 21 and 22 now there was a lot of stuff that was released last year as rewards right it was through objectives it was through sbcs and stuff like that and basically a lot of what we saw was it was like a normal player sbc or a normal um pack sbc right like we have the um let me find one here from this week during footies we've got the actually we don't we don't have any like normal pack sbcs uh, live right now, but we had one that was called like the La Liga Challenge that was out earlier this week, or like marquee matchups. They release an SBC, just a pack SBC or something along these lines, and they'll have a pack reward in FIFA 21, but it'll also tag on a reward for FIFA 22. And some of those rewards for FIFA 22, there's a lot of, I guess, people making fun of the preseason promo from last year because some people thought the rewards really weren't that much. But I mean, if you think about it, they can't give out insane stuff at the beginning of FIFA 22. So some of the things that we had last year that were objectives or SBCs that we unlocked for the upcoming FIFA, coin boosts, kits, chemistry styles, um, a couple packs here and there, and also some uh, TIFOs and stadium themes and stuff like that. Here's a tweet from Weaver today talking about some of the other things that we had for preseason last year. I think the most popular things were the, the 80 plus pack. I believe there was even a positional based 80 plus there was like an 80 plus midfielder or and defender and maybe attacker i could be wrong on that but this was something that people went out of their way to go and get because an 80 plus pack at the start of the game actually it might give you a pretty decent card right an 81 82 83 rated card like a Furlan mendy or a lucas mora or a sissoko uh you know i don't even remember if sissoko was 79 rated or what his rating was but that would be the type of card you might be able to pack from an 80 plus pack so that's kind of the one thing that you might be i guess worth going after chemistry styles like the engine like the anchor maybe they could give out hunters maybe they could give out shadows right that's the kind of stuff that is pretty cool apart from this promo it seems like going backwards right it seems like hey we're in the end of the game we should be grinding for big time packs like an 88 plus or player picks and stuff like that but in all actuality this is the type of promo that allows you to kind of look forward into the next FIFA, which is kind of cool, right? So I know a lot of you guys may not have any more desire to grind the game as much, but as long as the objectives are easy, which I hope it is, right? It should be pretty easy for these objectives, you know, play a couple games, um, you know, or whatever, because the rewards aren't that insane, but it could help you out a little bit. And you never know what you could get from an 80 plus uh, player pick at the beginning of FIFA 22. So I do think that it'll be worth getting involved in. Maybe not everything, right? I do remember that last year, uh, and it might still even be in my stadium, that one of the things that I got for um, doing the 
preseason yeah fever 20 team of the year this this kid the foot 20 future stars the icon kit i believe all three of these kits from fever 20 i actually got from doing the preseason objectives at the end of last year in fever 21 like i really love this team of the year kit from foot 20 and that was one thing that i wanted to have in fever 21 so i did that objective boom got the kit and i actually rocked that kit for the first part of this year so that's just one st thing still that i have in my club that is kind of a byproduct of that preseason promo. Now that's the biggest part, right? Especially for what I think is gonna be coming on Friday is gonna be those objectives. Now there's other things as a part of this promo that could be really interesting as well, but this is the main part of it, right? And I almost guarantee you that there will be this reward type system in this promo on Friday. But also you have a fine print here, foot 21 rewards earned during preseason will be granted by October 16th. So I don't exactly remember um, when these were specifically uh, put out, but October 16th last year was like a week after the full game release. So for this webpage probably coming out on Friday, I bet it would say October, what's the game released this year? October 2nd, so October 9th is when I would expect to see all these rewards granted by. They'll probably get dropped either at the um, early access date or the full access date uh, on October 2nd. So just kind of, I don't think you'll have these already on your web app or on your EA access 10 hours when you actually head into FIFA 22 for the first time, but you'll get them early on. So you won't have to wait forever. But last year during the um, preseason promo, they also did best of pack content, but we've already had that. So I think they will do best of pack content again because they're gonna probably still release over the next week or two. And I honestly think this preseason promo could be a two week promo. Um, and I'll, I'll go into that here in a second, but best of pack content, probably going to keep some of your top special cards still in packs. Again, we talk about the summer stars, the path to glories, some of the team of the season items that are still in packs right now. I do believe I would expect to see these cards released back into packs. And what they might do is actually release the best special item or the best version of every single player in the game. They might release that back into packs as the best of content. We could see that, I think. So we'll see what EA does with this, but I would expect this again because they've been doing it already for footies. If they don't do it, then it's really going to seem like an L again for the next two weeks. So that's my opinion on that. This stuff, the Champions League and the road to the final stuff, that was specific to last year, of course, with COVID and the Champions League, Europa League, and the uh, leagues themselves finishing out at the end of the year in July and August. So I don't expect to see anything related to Champions League, Europa League, road to the final boost, new RTTF players. I don't expect to see anything like that. All of this stuff is related to like the uh, Champions League and Europa League, which again, of course, are over this year, um, kind of more on a normal schedule. But I do expect to see more transfer content. And what they called this was top transfers. They said throughout preseason, we'll be showcasing a selection of the most exciting moves with special player items in foot 20 released for those players after they land at their new clubs. And what they did last year for this was they actually released the players using the premium SBC car design. Leroy Sané was one of those that got a special item at the end of the year last year, and they used this special SBC design. I don't remember if Werner got one or not, but of course, Werner was talked about a lot last year. He did. He got a 95 rated Chelsea striker card. So um, I thought that was one that was released too. So just keep an eye out. There might be more of these top transfers. Um, of course, we had some big time transfers this summer window, right? But maybe if in the, if the Mbappe transfer happens, people are talking about Sancho, maybe Varane. We've already had some transfer content with Messi, with Depay. And then um, I guess, I think those might be the only two that we have had, unless I missed one. But um, Umtiti, Martial, those, those are not, those are close call SBC. So those are not transfers. But um, just keep your eye out for maybe some more of those transfer contents, which would be dope, right? People would love that. They would obviously juice them up, make them very high rated cards to fit in with where the power curve is at in the current state of this game. But that's, those are going to be the two things that I think will be the focus of this preseason promo, right? Top transfers and the foot 22 objective and SBC rewards that we will be able to attain 
through a little bit of a grind. And then I think the most, the third most likely thing I would expect would be that best of pack content. So those are the things that I would expect out of the preseason promo. It's kind of hype. It's it's not super duper hype. It's just a nice little segue into FIFA 22. That's kind of how I'm viewing it. Of course, we're going to have to see what kind of items they're going to be giving us, what kind of, of you know, chem styles, kits, whatever is it just going to be you know kits and stuff like that or is it going to be like shadows hunters engine chemistry styles the anchor chemistry style would be decent right if it's an easy objective you get it done pretty quick then that would still be nice um so it's all going to depend on how much of a grind it takes to actually finish off some of these spcs and objectives but i think this might be a two-week promo and part of the reason i think that is because we still have icon swaps that is going on if you look inside of objectives uh, i believe it is uh this monday this monday we will have new icon swap objectives coming out i'm really close on the rivals one i'm 10 out of 15 um i kind of need to get my 83 times 25 actually now that i think about it i still have that pack available um so if i could get two more swap tokens that'd be fantastic but um, I do think that we will see new icon swap tokens and that's why I think it'll be basically like two weeks of preseason and then that is going to put us basically into the second week of September and from then on it's probably going to be like FIFA 22 demo and really we're going to get into the start of FIFA 22 and be like two weeks away from that. So I think this preseason promo is going to kind of be again like that segue between the end of FIFA 21 and the start of FIFA 22. Now, let's talk a little bit about Foot 21 content. It's Thursday, right? Thursday last week was a big day. Last Thursday was the legendary day where they dropped the 99 rated Messi SBC. And again, we had a decent SBC yesterday on Wednesday with the Martial. I do think this SBC is overpriced, but five star, five star is decent, right? They did a nice upgrade there and another close call SBC. I would either expect a transfer SBC today on Thursday or another close call, right? They're kind of running out of opportunities to do the close calls unless they're going to do them after footies is over, but I doubt they would do that. So maybe they're going to save that transfer content. Maybe it will be another close call player SBC today on Thursday. You might look out for that. We had another 92 plus player pick and they also re-released the 87 times 10. And that's why I'm really, I really think that they're going to still have best of pack content available because since they re-released this 87 times 10 for four more days, um, if they weren't going to have anything else in packs, then why would they re-release this? So I think it's going to be special cards are still going to be in packs throughout the end of this year. Now, we also had a new objective player yesterday, and this is one that was rumored to drop. The leaks were true. Bellerin got himself a card, right? It is 11 squad battles games. You can actually do Fatih and Bellerin at the same time if you really want to go out and grind that. So that would be very nice. They're both Spanish items, so you can get a few things done uh, with your Spanish players for both of these at the same time. But... That's a little bit of a grind there if you want to get, I mean, probably a top two or top three right back in the prem for this Bellerin card. Not sure how he plays in game, but a decent item nonetheless. And then again, today on Thursday, um, we actually, you know, yesterday on Wednesday was kind of a, you know, quantity. There was a quantity, a lot of quantity of content, not the most quality, right? Martial being really expensive, actually. 540,000 coins according to Footbin. I think that's just, it's a nice card, nice SBC. He's got great traits with finesse shot and outside the foot and the flare trait, but that's just way too expensive, man. But I understand the GGMU tax is in full effect with that card right there. Now, actually, I want to check one thing real fast. The MLS All-Star game is in penalties right now. Oh my goodness. So the deciding game on whether we get our Nani or Giniac updated right now is in penalties. And did the MLS just win? I It's 3-2 on pens. I think the MLS might have just won. I, I think it might be over, boys. That's crazy. Um, it went to penalties. No freaking way. It did. It went to penalties 3-2 on pens. So that means a cheeky Nani upgrade is about to be locked in. Uh, for us, probably pretty soon. So this Nani card is going to go to a 97 rated plus twos all around, probably a plus three, maybe on passing. So a 97 Nani based off a penalty shootout. No 
way. That's crazy. And Nani actually missed the pen. Nani had his own pen. He actually missed it. So he was trying to not get himself an upgrade, but his teammates came through. This is going to go to a 97 rated item probably in the next 24 to 48 hours, I would assume that car would get upgraded. So GG's if you did the 90 SBC, a lot of people will be excited about that one. But for today, again, on Thursday, I do expect probably another player SBC, maybe uh, some sort of upgrade pack. Again, I'm losing track of all the upgrade packs that they're putting out at this point. We still got 88 pluses, still got 82 plus player picks. We had the 92 plus footies released again yesterday. Um, and the 87 times 10 was re-upped. So we will see what they do with that content today. It could be a quiet day. It could be another big day. But again, it's the one week since we had the big time messy transfer SBC. So we'll see if they do one of those again or a close call. Again, Silas, David Silva, still plenty of cards that could get that uh, close call SBC footies item. But we will see what they end up doing today on Thursday. But it is nice to know that a preseason promo is coming. And uh, if you want to put the work in, you can maybe get a few extra things to start off your year in FIFA 22. So, of course, on Friday, we'll be checking out what that looks like. We'll be looking at all of those new features when the promo does drop. But if you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.